we are now going to be trading some binary option live once again and you are free to join and trade together with me just sign up with the link that you find below the video it's alpha one signals.com first link you find below the video and you can join me today so now let me just uh, start up here just check that everything is in order and we can start see we are right there we are live okay okay then it's just for me to log in let's do a reload so make sure these numbers are correct Okay, let's uh, just uh, remove the ones that are below 70. There, okay. Now let's see if we can find ourselves some good pairs to trade for today. Finding a few at least. That seems to be it. We uh, just have these pairs, but I think that will be enough. Okay, now right out of the bat, we do have. I don't like that this is lower, so I think we. I, I like the area up here. We can mark it if we get up there again. Let's see. Entry between there and uh, there. We would be interested in that. That can be for now. The bottom, I don't see anything. <coughs> Let's go down here. Looks to be interesting. Let's mark it there and put on one there. We mark a little now because this can be useful for us a little later. When we reach these targets, we don't need to waste time marking down here I don't see nothing so we can move on now let's see here I'm always looking a little to the left let's see if I get some clues and do not I could take a trade right away, but I will not do. I will take my time to mark it. And we take a trade up there. We are in the middle. We are good. We run it and we move on. This area, I will say, still looks good. Uh, in the top, not so much. Let's move on. He did break up. He come now. Test this area here once again. Let's zoom in. Let's mark it. I'm not sure if I'm interested. I want to see how it looks like. Uh, no. For now, no. I did not like that he started down there. I don't do not like it at all, so I think for now we wait and see how this will play out. Okay, let's go back to this one. We are GPL a strong dollar after, and we won that one. He's on his way down again. Let's take a look. I think I want to redo my entry. Now below here. Let's see if we can get there again. By the way, we can put in our calculation. $78 quite 
quite sweet. Now let's see. To my entry, I would like to have it in the middle. Down to that level there. I can make you a line so you can see where I would like to have an entry. So do like that. And let's make this one a sweet white color. White, I said. I would like to have an entry there. Was it bad to get to here? No, of course not. But uh, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I want the best entry, so. Uh, we also see that we have a trend going downwards. Let's mark that as we have time. You see, it looks something like this. So we might call to squeeze very soon. But yeah. Uh, enter the white line there, that would be amazing. And we should go down there, as we see we have a squeeze pushing us downwards. Now wait a little, do not take a trade now, I didn't like what I'm seeing. When he opened like this, I don't like it. Don't take a trade, just wait. Now I think I move on because I didn't like it. And you see he pushed down, so that's why. He basically jumped below a line, I told before. Don't take it right. Now let's see what we can do here. Do we have any areas of interest? This area is actually pretty darn good. I'm uh, going for it. Like I said before, when I choose my areas, I count my losses and I count my winners. That way I see if it's valid for me to take a trade within my parameters of uh, win rate. Like here, for example, uh, let's take this area down here while we can. You see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine winners. Then we get one loser. And here back again, one more, one more. We can maybe cut this, but I will not do it. But you see, we are getting more than 10 winners against one loser. So down here, we can clearly see this is a good region to take a trade. Now if we take up here, let's take from here, because it's from here we are below it. So you can say 1, let's contact the Salus, 1-1. One, one. Then we will not take trade here, we need our below again. 2, loss, okay, down again. Do you know what, it's not that good. When I count over it now, looks like we maybe have like um, one, two, three, four, five winners against one, two, three, five against three. It's profitable. Uh, I have not decided yet. Up here. See, it's a stronger area. I think from uh, what I see now, a entry up there is more um, interesting. We don't have so many, but we see well, here was a strong support. I like it more. So let's go for that one. Down here, yes, we are interested. Now let's see if we can get down there. Looks like you need to break one support here, but if you can break this one, we go to the zone and we might get a trade. But you see the entry up here now, so let's move on. But I want to move this one all the way over here because it's a good one. Okay, let's move on. Up here, beautiful. I'll mark it right away. Sometimes you can see I cannot take a trade, but I don't do it. I wait till I mark it. I will take a trade up there now. And we are in there. I got a nice entry here. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's move on. You see, I did take my time to take the trade. So everyone had the possibility to take the same trade like me. I mark it up before I take my trade. Don't see. Do we have something down here? I will say no. This area is just beautiful. I will easily take a trade here. Easily. 
Now let's see, five last second, we will call this one. This is one of the good ones. <laughs> did we did actually lose it in the last second? Remember I told you yesterday. When happened that we win in last second I really deserve it because there are so many times I lose in the last second and well today it happened again. Uh, I told again before and I tell again when I lose in the last second I really deserve uh, and when I win in the last second I really deserve it because most of the time I lose in the last second and it's so annoying. But it's okay. Uh, that means we have one win and one loss till now. We are currently minus $22. Uh, actually, it's uh, like 18 but uh, we will put this into a uh, play a little later. So, yeah. Okay, we're getting close. And here we actually have a trade just a little while ago. I want to follow both these two. Now, a little far away, so I'll follow this one. Little far away, he's retesting this resistance up here now. If it holds, we might come down thereafter. I'll follow this two. I'll jump a little in between these two, just so we are. Because looks like they might come in the same time. Yeah. Both these two, I would really want to take a trade on. Let's remove this, we don't need to follow and see this. Now maybe he want to go up again. Let's see. And if there are any questions, you are free to ask it. We are live in the academy. I think we have uh, currently like 30 people there. And in YouTube, we have just two. So that's the two places I check for questions. So if you have any questions, you can uh, post it in either of these two places. I will check a little later. Now, maybe we get a trade here now. Oh still below but let's see I'm in there now and uh, I think <laughs> oh, no don't say he's going to break it I uh, will uh, just jump over to this one this was sad uh, sad information let's go here I feel bad about this one but uh, let's see I will not trade on this one more by the way I see the break up there but let's see I, I deserve a win after this uh, garbage share was in the money for all the time and lost the last second. I, once again, I hate when that happened, but um, that's why it's so much more rewarding when it's another way around. But looks like we won that one. Sweet. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, I'll put this into the calculation. We are now $56 in profit. I did not like it. This broke a little. Uh, let me see. Mm. We need a better entry at least. Then. I think I need an entry something like this. <coughs> then it's still possible to trade. Now, currently, I like this one more. Let's go back here and see if we can get a trade here. I really want an entry in between these lines here. It's a good one. But we will take care also if we can get up there where was okay. I was uh, we was there now, but uh, let's see. I'm in there. We got uh, an amazing entry. Thanks to that you were looking here, we got a better entry. Now let's see. And we might get one here now. Let's see. We are ready. We just pinned it actually we were a little below it. Let's see now, if we can get there again, I'll take it. I did not zoom in good enough to see that we were actually below it. But, uh, let's see now, if we can get down there again, I'll take that trade easily. No, we don't want to. 
we are ready. Uh, I do also, I'm not going to disregard this. We have, oi, sorry for that. We have a trend going downwards, something like this. Uh oh, are we winning this one? We won it. Let's go back and see how that looks like. That was deep, deep, deep in the money. Everyone won that trade. Sweet, we like that. Let's put that into the calculation. We are now 134. Uh, I do not want to take a trade now on this bar. I will wait. I will like this bar here to close uh, down here first before I go in again. Let's see. I would prefer. Actually, it's not the only prefer. I would like him to close below here. You see this uh, line I have with the mouse. I need him to close below there before I take an entry. So as we're waiting for that, let's move over here. See if we get a trade there. We are soon, very soon, getting into squeeze. I need to take a decision. I think this bar will be the last. I will take a trade. After that, we need to see what will happen. Typically after M like this, he will come down, finalize the M, then he will come up to the mid zone here and then to shoot down. That's what I'm expecting. Let's see. Hmm. But yeah, we are in profit. We have four trades, three winners. Eh, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go back here and take a look. Did we close below? Yes, we did. We can then trade up here again. I will move once again my line a little bit. For better entries. Now I would say up here could be nice. You see my bottom line, I put basically, if you zoom in, more or less in the top of this red one here. And the upper line, you see, for the next buy, I take on the upper area there. Do you see? So that is my entry now. So something in between there, I'll take it. Okay. So always when you see my put the lines, try to identify exactly where I put them. Okay. So, but once again, we are doing uh, quite okay today. We got one loss, but the one loss we got <laughs> was not deserving, I would say. We were in the money all the way. Uh, we are a little far away right now. Um, we do see a trend here also. Like I said before, if you can draw a line, draw it. And we can see, uh, let's take the closest bar so we are a little more careful. That we see that we soon are coming into a squeeze here also. So uh, I think now we need to wait here also. Uh, I do not like when I see things like this. So let's uh, we cancel out this and this one for now, and let's move on. Now let's take a look here. Do we like this region up here? Mm. To be quite frankly, I don't like it that much. It's not clear because it's basically when you see up the upper bars here, they are into the bars here that they take take them all the way up here. So the support and resistance, so the resistance here I feel is higher than the support here. Does not fit for me, and then I can trade it. So let's move on. Now let's take a look here. Yeah, I still like this area up here. Only if it comes from here, if it comes from here, we have one loss here and one loss here. Maybe not a loss here, but we count it as a loss. Other than that, we have like uh, one, two, uh, three, four, five winners against two losses. I think that's okay. That is profitable. Not amazing, but it's profitable. But uh, currently, we're a little far away, so let's move on. <coughs> okay. 
now let's see what's going on here okay we see we were trading this one I told about it we got the squeeze and this time you see he chose to break to the downside so this was a good area we are trading but we see when comma squeeze we need to stop uh, let's take a look here I basically can't see nothing we have nothing to the left we have no data here when it's like this just let it be we can't do nothing okay now let's see we always zoom out like like i said you always need to take a look to the left this left actually looks pretty darn good i will mark it then we will do a little count after but for now we have a little time so I mark, I mark it in the top of the closest bar there and the bottom there then I take a look from here one, two, three, four uh, in it from the bottom five six, seven, eight, nine nine winners let's count now the losers from the top Let's count this as a loss. One, two, three, four, I actually was not so good. Not so good. I think if we draw the line a little lower, we need to edit like this. Looks a little better. But we need a good entry. We need a good entry. I would say in the middle line here, if you get the middle line entry here, then we have a profitable uh, trade. So let's mark that. I would say our uh, entry will try. It's good to get, if you get the entry in between the blue lines, we are good. But we'll try to get the en entry as close to as this um, white line you see here. If we can get the entry there, cool then we have a very high probability of winning so now let's take a look we do see we have a trend going downwards also so we'll mark that the trend looks something like this you see no maybe it's breaking it that would be nice but uh, for now it's a line going downwards we still have some space so i would have taken a trade down here but when they start to come maybe two minutes later in two minutes I will not trade more so we can say now what what this bar I'll take but the next I will not so this is basically the last bar that I will be interested in to take a trade so, but as you're so far away I'll just move on now let's see down here do we have any data very far back now but do you see this area here fits beautifully with this here and this here and uh, this resistance here so I don't know what I think we'll um, try it so let's mark that super fast uh, from there to about there sweet I'll take a trade there now let's see if we can uh, see some trends here probably have something looks like this this is it see here uh, I think we can trade let me zoom in I think we can trade here for at least uh, one two maybe three more minutes yeah let's see I will easily take a trade on there for now let's see Let me see if there are any questions while we are waiting. Uh, Vincencia, uh, you don't need to buy a new laptop because you have old. You, you, if you, you can actually trade on. Uh, or a cell phone also. Okay.
Okay. And uh, sometimes an old laptop uh, just to, uh, change the hard drive to SSD. That helps most of the time to make an old uh, computer to feel a little faster again. And then at the same time, if it's possible, just add a little more uh, memory, uh, RAM into your uh, computer, SSD and RAM, and you should be uh, set to go so the computer is uh, workable again. Because most of the older computers that just have a regular uh, hard drive, as, uh, what, uh, so, so, I call it just a slow drive, <laughs> I don't know the specific terms for it, but uh, just change for SSD drive and you will see uh, five times faster computer just by doing that okay. helps a lot I have done that on my some of my older computers and they uh, are perfectly fine like I have a, a MacBook Pro I had uh, from 2012 I basically just did ads I have 16 gigabyte with RAM now and I did upgrade uh, this one have a DVD drive, I did move with the DVD drive. They put a regular big hard drive there just for uh, storage space. And then I did add a 500 gigabyte SSD drive as the main drive, install a new operation system. Sweet. Runs like magic. So, they're just small details you need to do for uh, getting a computer to be good enough. Yeah. I think we just move on. Down here, that looks pretty darn nice for me. Let's check out. See here, we don't have much shot, but we have one, two, three, four, five, all winners. Can't beat that. I will now move my blood a little because it looks like, uh, even though it's just the spikes, uh, for me it looks like it's something like this now. That gives us a little more space. So I will take a trade down there if you get down there again. <laughs> That's it. It's retesting. You know what, here actually it will be a nice uh, sell trade. Which is, uh, I will not do it because I have not marked it, it's not fair. But you see, he's, uh, he has the pressure of this down and he has uh, support there. But there's no resistance. So I did not take it because it was not fair for me to take a trade there. But uh, in a way it was good we did not take it because it now looks like he actually shows to break both. The resistance and the trend line is, is very rare to do that type of things. So good, it was not fair because we would have lost that one. And it's not a way a typical trade, but when it comes across like this, actually, now I is discussable if I would have lost or not. Maybe we got lucky, who knows? But we are not trading it by the way. So let's move on. This one have no fall below. The 70, so we remove it by the way. Now, let's see here. Do we like this region there? I would say yes. So, let's mark it. Mark the bottom there and uh, entry something between there. I think that would be nice. Counting from here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12 winners against one loser. Sweet. We easily take a trade there. So, not even a question. High, high, high win rate. So, if you can come down there again, we'll take it. Let's zoom in so we can get a better entry if that comes through. Oh, a little tired today. Maybe we're getting a trend here now. I'll mark it at least. Oh, I'll push up here now. There, 
I'm not sure because how this uh, shitty trend line was marking. If my entry is good, probably not. No, it looks like my entries are wrong here. Mm -hmm. Just because I was marking this trend, should not have done that. So let's see. I think I will take one more trade there now. It's a new timeline, so good. Let's see. If we lose this one, we probably will this win this one. For now, we move on, and we. I think we'll lose this one. Sadly, just because I got a bad entry. Now we just need to wait this one, and let's see how that goes. Uh, also, let's check this area. I will be annoyed if I lose two in a row here now. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look on this one here now. I'm really going to lose two trades in a row. We are very. <laughs> and you see, the second after, he, I would have been a winner. You see, this annoys me. One more second, and I would have won it. Okay, minus 200. Now I uh, we are so late in the session, so I will move my bid up to 200. We are uh, more or less in zero right now, but uh, little little in the low side. So I will move it up to 200 now. So, okay, this area here. Lately, it was a little ugly, so I think I'll not do it. Okay. No. Oh, oh. <coughs> no, I'll try it. Let's move it away. Entry there, if you have to come up there again. <coughs> Sorry for that. Let's see. And we're moving far away. Okay. Let's move on. Back to this one. Always look a little to the left. See if we can get some clues. For me, it looks like this area there might be a good one. I don't like that it did go lower, but let's see. It's actually not a normal I see here. I entry between there. Let's see, it will not be that bad. Let's see, I'll take a trade if we get down there again. I would say even there from the left side let's see now we 
might get down there again. I'm shaking a little. Making sure we get the highest wind rate possible. I would say here. Would be the area. If I can get that entry between there, I'll I think that will be the area. Let's see. Let's zoom in. Getting closer and closer here now. Hit it a little more lower this time. still have some time left, so we should be able to turn this around. My target, I would love to reach 83,000 today. But for that, we need a couple of trades. Zoom out. I don't see anything special there. See, I like that region. If we get up there, let's see. I think this stayed true still. Um, around there. Let's see. now and I'm in there and we got the I think the entry is directly on the white line I'm accept I'm accepting that entry now let's see here no On the trade, sweet. Let's uh, put that into the calculation plus 156. We are now uh, 106 dollar in profit. I think I'll go back to 100. Let's see, GPP USD. away from this entry up there let's go back to here you can uh, check the only your trading by the way if you have more opportunities okay he did go very far down this broke a little for me I don't want to trade more here so let's move on ah, we go to the start uh, let's take a look here I still would say I need to be down there for me to take a trade. Now let's check the top here. Do we have any information here? 
not much that uh, support any trading up there. Not to the downside either. You see, we have got one, a few winners there, but uh, we broke it up many times. So I don't see it. So that's why we move on. Okay, what can we see here? We see here is not nice. I don't like it. I've not tried it. I would say around let's see I'm not able to fit in find any good trading opportunities here so sorry we are not trading here now let's see here let's uh, do reset the chart so it takes better maybe we have something here I would say so. Oh, he broke below it. Then I'm not regretting it. But we actually might have something on there also. Let's see. I'm not going to trade before I really confirm it. Let's zoom in. In between there. I'll take if it comes down there again. Let's see. If it can come down to this region there. Yes, we take it. Let's remove this white line. We are ready to go in. Come on now, get down there again. We are very close. Uh, take one trade there. We are in. Nice entry. Let's move on. <coughs> now, let's see. Here, what's going on? Say have nothing. Here we look at the left. We can see it's not bad either, but not super good. By the way, we won the trade here. Let's take a look. What's uh, what happened? Were we deep in the money? Oh, we were deep, deep, deep in the money. That is nice to see. Now I want to see how this looks like. I will say I enter now. We move it a little in between these two. Let's put this into the calculation. Seventy-eight. We will collect our eighteen dollar here later. Looks like we maybe can have a chance to reach 83,000 today. That would be sweet. We are currently $168 in profit. I think we move on. He's going away from our line. But everyone did take a trade down here. You won. Deep, deep, deep in the money. Now let's take a look at this one here. I'll mark it. See what's going on. Uh, broke it here. Oh, it's not so bad, but I see we are a little trend going down also. I, if I can get a trade very close to the bottom line. Ah, but now he opened up here. Ah, let's move on. Let's move on. Well, let's take a look here. Always we need to look to the left, see how it looks like. I don't see too much information. We have something over here and here, but we lost it. No, it's not uh, not good enough for us. Let's move on. I like to have a little more information before I take trades. Now let's see down below here. We maybe have something. We'll look to the left. Not too much. Hmm. If I can come down. Uh, my, I'm on the sideline of this one. I think I will mark one more to be fair with you all. If we come down to 
that line there, let's make it white, I'll take it. See, I'm not taking it. There, there, there I mean, and we got it. Then let's see how that will play out. I think that was the best we could do with this situation. Let's uh, now move on. You see, I try to be fair. I, I don't just push up. I want to show my thoughts completely, so everyone have the same opportunities like me. Uh, looks like we're winning the trade, by the way. GPP USD. Um, there, another sweet win, seventy-eight dollar. Let's. Uh, I think I want to move my line a little more down. Now I want to take a trip there, let's see, I'll take it if it goes down there again, let's zoom in. You see I did put a little spike on this one there. And let's add the calculation. 78. Uh, one more trade and we actually reached my target of the day, 83,000. That would be nice. So we are one win away, let's see how we are in time. Yes, we have uh, at least 10 minutes left. So we should manage that. Uh, there, I'm in and I think my entry is on the line. So let's see if we win this one now. I already have reached my target of uh, 83,000. Currently, we are not in the money, but let's see. We'll see how that one plays out a little later. Yes. Thankfully, we got a high number. So we are long time in trade. Let's see if it's breaking down or what's going on. Now we should be very close to a winning trade there. He just need to go up a little bit, and we are there. Uh, let's see here. I don't like when they are uh, playing with us like this, very close to the numbers. It's not. Uh, and you see now, and we lost the last two seconds. We lost it. That is annoying, uh, um, but not super price me too much either. Let's see how this one looks like. Yeah, fair enough. He did break down, so fair enough. I don't think too much about it now. But then we are yet again a couple of trades away. We have one trade again. Now we have two trades away from our target. We are currently 146 with 22 160 ish profit. Let's take a look here. We have an area here, but I don't like it too much. Let's move on. This area here is not too special. We are in a downwards trend. This one is breaking down like a crazy maniac. This upper area here is a maybe. I'll mark it and have a look. There, I'll take it. I'm not sure which type of entries I got there now, but let's see. This region there, we don't have too much information. No. GBP USD. Let's have a look. This one broke, but let's see if we have some information far, far, far back. I don't see too much information in this region here. So it's something we can uh, deal with at least now. Looks like we're winning this one here. Sweet, let's take a look what's going on. Okay. Seventy-eight. We might need two more trades to reach our target. 
Do I take a trade here now? Should have done. Should have. But I'm a little too slow. I will now I'm trying to fill up this bar again for me to take a trade. I'm just like this when I see <laughs> I need him to get up there. Come on now. We need him to fill all the way up for me to want to take a trade now. I was too slow on the trigger. Sometimes the bar moves so fast that I don't have time to think. And there he did go too high, so then I skip it. When you shoot too fast and you don't have time to think, then, oh, let's reload. I need to wait a little. Okay, we are back again. Do we have any information here? In between this region, some maybe. But, uh, I'm not going to trade maybes. Oh, let's see here. Not, no information. This might be a resistant now. I'd like to see him at least go up one time. Let's say we'll take the trade here now on the white line, but how would that be played out? I believe that should be good. But let's see. We always need to see him test one time. And uh, how good would be that he uh, stop here now and go down again. Then we can maybe make an area, but you see he just broke right up. That means we can trade. That's why we always need to wait. We never know how uh, if a support will turn good resistance. This area, let's see. It's decent, it's decent, but not good. Uh, this area. It's broken one time. If we have one, two, three, four winners. I'll hold this one down here. Just to take a look, at least. I would say there, you see, one, loss, two, three, four, five winners against one loss, good enough. Uh, we might have a trend downwards, something like this. Yes, I know I did take a spike there, but it fits them perfect on this one. So more or less something like this. I think I can take a trade on there on uh, this bar. Let's collect now this uh, cash back up here. Just push one time and receive this $24. Let's put that into the calculation. So we have $248 profit till now. It's not amazing, but it's uh, at least it's profit. We did quite good yesterday and we're doing decent today so uh, I would feel quite good about myself with one more win one more win that would uh, get us very close to 83,000 83, let's see uh, I will take a trade on this bar maybe the next I'm not so sure I'm not need to think yeah I'll take on this bar also uh, entry and uh, make a line. Let's make a white line for where I would like to have an entry. I would say if I can get the bar down to this white there on this one, this one only, if you can get down to this white line, I will push up. Not the next bar. Next bar, I skip it. So let's see. We need to get down there now. This is the last bar, we will take a trade here. Let's see. Yeah, we're getting close. No, no, we skip it. I feel the squeeze is too hard, so we don't take it. Let's move 
wall. <sighs> Here, I don't see nothing. Nothing of nothing. Let's move on. Let's remove this. We probably have a little trend going downwards. But uh, I don't see any entries. Probably has something at the top here now. He's testing it right now. I'm taking my time. So, all oh, have the same opportunities. I'll take a trade if we go up there again. This whole, once again was for me being fair. There were a trade in the top. Now he closed a little high, so now I'm not interested anymore. Let's see. I'll now I need this bar here to go down and close. Yeah, around there will be good enough for me. Let's say up there. Let's see. Let's see. As you can see, if I had just pushed it when I see myself, you see I would have won. But it would not be fair because I would take that trade without you have the opportunity to take it. So you can see that I try to be fair to not just take a trade because I see it. I need to mark it so you have the same opportunity like me. So that's the second time today I would have a winning trade if I just taken it. But yeah, uh, I can uh, make an additional line here so it's easy for you to see where I take a nice entry will be. On this white line, now I will take it. Uh, we probably have a trend going upwards. Let's mark it to have a look. Something like this, we need to um, figure out how long time we still feel I have enough space. I will say one more minute, that's the max. Next minute, I can take a trade up there, but then no more. But we are actually done, I see now, I will check the time. We had a quite decent uh, live session today also. We made the $248. That is good in my book. We did not reach my target of $83,000, but hey, it's good. We uh, just was one trade away, basically. So uh, we have one more session this week, tomorrow. So make sure you tune in then, and we will probably make some more money. <laughs> So uh, with that, have an amazing day and I'll see you 